A once classified group of local military heroes may finally get the recognition it deserves. Earlier this week, we introduced you to members of the Army Security Agency. That's a highly classified, super secret outlet of the U.S. military. For decades, they've worked in the shadows, but now they have a new mission, a mission of recognition. And as WBTV's Steve Crump learned, they're one step closer. On the day unselfish contributions are front and center, a local congressman provides a big pat on the back for a special group of Vietnam veterans. They had the, the ultimate security clearance, and as such, they worked uh, quietly behind the scenes. We did the intelligence for the Army. Earlier this week, we shared the stories of Cecil Carver and Dave Sandilin. We kept a lot of people alive. They were part of the very top secret Army Security Agency. Across Southeast Asia, the unit specialized in private stealth missions, and their fight to have a public memorial at Arlington National Cemetery has gotten the backing of North Carolina Representative Robert Pittenger. Frankly, few people even knew what they did. After our report, the congressman fired off this letter to Army Secretary Eric Fanning. Pittenger said, quote, I express my full support for this noble project. We've been disbanded since 1976 in trying to raise funds for a memorial, something that happened 40 years ago. Most people don't want to talk to you. Conversations have resulted into a design for what they call a modest memorial. A tribute to them is way overdue, and I think, frankly, a memorial at Arlington National Cemetery is really the right thing. Reminders of what they did come from the somber notes oozing from a bugle at this observance in Matthews. The final question you have to ask yourself is would you do it again? Would you? Yeah. Simple answers connected to the actions of sacrifice and service. Steve Crump, WBTV, on your side.